America is being invaded by those dirty reds, but this is still Movies with Mitch. For them, this is just some place. For us, this is our home. The small town of Spokane, Washington is taken over by North Koreans, and it will take a group of civilians banding together to turn the tide against the invaders. If you're seeing this broadcast, you are in a part of the country no longer controlled by the government of the United States. Boys, I love you both, but I want you to do what I would do. Kill this piece of... No, no, no. A good action film filled with non-stop gunfights, explosions, and all-around craziness. And though it hits all the action movie staples, it has nothing in the story or character department. Large plot holes riddle the movie, leaving too many questionable points, and characters fail to develop past their initial stage to really merit any sympathy. But all said and done, a great movie to just sit and watch and enjoy for its spectacle. We inherited our freedom. Now it's up to all of us to fight for it. So I give Red Dawn, with a runtime of an hour and a half, a C+. We want to hear your opinion, so post it on our Facebook page. Then tune in next time for our review of Killing Them Softly, starring Brad Pitt. But until then, I'm Mitch Pinpayek for News 11 saying go out and watch a movie. Huh, communist controlled America. Could you imagine? In Russia, movies go out to see you. This is Movies with Michovich, comrades. <sighs>